Spooky News, the Haunter Community's leading news program, with Joseph Mayan and meteorologist Stryker Reinhardt. The Karn Evil theme for Spear Halloween 2024 has now has a leaked image right over here. This was taken in a local store by Connor CEC. And I'm telling you, it was not by Halloween Hooligan. It was by Connor CEC. It is the 4th of July. Happy July, everybody. And the big story on Spooky News tonight is Spear Halloween's 2024 ISC Karn Evil has been leaked. This photo taken by Connor CEC, and no to all you haunters out there, this is not taken by Halloween Hooligan. It was taken by Connor CEC. I don't understand why people say it was by Halloween Hooligan, but it was not. Really does look like a good theme, but we have not seen the entire thing yet. But once Flagship opens and whoever is going there, we are going to see the full thing being released. Also in the news, Barnaby the Bear, Spear Halloween 2024 prop has been released as well. It was released two days ago, and Chilling Props already has the prop. So here is a look at the demo video from the website and the demo video from Chilling Props. In my honest opinion, it, it, it's awful. I really don't like it. It really could have been scarier, and it does not look good at all. It looks so goofy and just trash in general. Also, non-Halloween-related news over here. The other night, former President Donald Trump and Joe Biden had faced off in their first 2024 debate, and their next debate is set to be held September 10th, 2024. Here's a clip of last week's debate. In, in uh, France for D-Day, and I spoke all about those heroes that died. I went to the World War II cemetery, World War I cemetery he refused to go to. He was standing with his four-star general, and he told me, he said, I don't want to go in there because they're a bunch of losers and suckers. My son was not a loser, was not a sucker. You're the sucker. You're the loser. What do you say to voters who have concerns about your capabilities to serve? Well, I took two tests, cognitive tests. I aced them. Both of them, as you know, it, we made it public. He took none. I'd like to see him take one, just one, a real easy one. Like, go through the first five questions, he couldn't do it. But I took two cognitive tests. I took physical exams every year. And, you know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior, two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart, and you have to be able to hit the ball a long way. And I do it. He doesn't do it. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. He challenged me to a golf match. He can't hit a ball 50 yards. Uh, I think I'm in very good shape. I feel that I'm as in good a shape as I was 25, 30 years ago. Actually, I'm probably a little bit lighter, but I'm in as good a shape as I was uh, years ago. I feel very good. I feel the same. But I took, I was willing to take a cognitive test. And you know what? If I didn't do well, I aced him. Dr. Ronnie Jackson, who's a great guy when he was White House doctor, and then I took another one, a similar one, and both one of them said they'd never seen anybody ace him. Thank you. President Biden? You can see he is six foot five and only 223 pounds, or 235 pounds. Well, you said six four, 200. Well, anyway, that's what you're, anyway, just take a look at what he says he is. And, Take a look at what he is. Look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The re I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. And, and by the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. Yeah. But I have, you know how many? How, I've seen you swing. I know you swing. Let's not act like children. The debate honestly was such a disaster because Do Donald Trump honestly was just like yapping the whole time. And Joe Biden could barely speak like he was just stuttering and like losing his train of thought. Like it was just this this 
it was just, I don't even know how to describe it. Like, I'm going off the mind today, but, like, it was just despicable the way that debate was. Like, it was just absolutely disastrous. Like, this is honestly a joke to America. Like, this is honestly the most, like, the most joke of a debate ever. Like, just, they both need to get their mind straight and both retire, honestly. Also, one more thing I want to add to it. All Trump was doing the whole time was just saying this shit. Oh, uh, we have the greatest economy in the world, okay? Joe Biden's such a liar, and I won two golf tournaments, and that's the biggest lie I've ever heard, and it was so rigged and made up. Like, that's all he was doing the whole time. And, like, during the trial that he was on, after the trial, he was going, This was a rigged trial, and by the people, the real verdict will be on November 8th. Like, that's literally what Trump sounds like. We're going to build a wall, okay, hunters? We're going to build a wall around the hunter community, okay? I'm shutting down the whole thing. Like, literally, that's what Trump sounds like, man. <laughs> also, a past Spooky 10 episode was talking about a catfishing situation that has happened the December of 2023. So here is a clip of that Spooky 10 episode. And... She would post on Instagram once in a while, but the thing that I found strange was I saw this post right over here, and it is winter. Like, we all knew that it was winter in that account, and she lied saying that it was her account before uh, she gave it to Lydia. And then what happened with Senior Haunter is that he tried asking Christmas Freak like to be his girlfriend, um, but I'm going to go ahead and play the voice recording so Senior can tell his story. Okay, so it all started back in last year, December 22nd, 2023, in this group chat. Uh, I was in Christmas break at the time, obviously, and I came across this girl named Lydia, Lo Lydia Loves Christmas. So, you know, I asked her if she wanted to be my girlfriend, and she said yes. So, you know, we hung, you know, we, we texted, we texted, I kept, I kept asking her if she, um, uh, if she wanted to call, and she said no, because my dad abuses me, which is obviously not true. Um, about a few, we dated for about a few months, and then, and I think it was either February or March of this year, where she fucking catfished me. I didn't find out until I was in another group chat that she wasn't in, and I think some dude asked me, if I'm dating her, and she said she was dating fucking seven or ten guys at the same time, and I was like, holy sh Okay, it cut off, but back to what I was saying, yeah, she was dating, this guy told me that she was dating about eight or ten girls at the same time, and yeah, I was like, holy shit. But, um, I did confront her, and she said, are you winter? And she said, no, I even told her, to swear to God, and she did. I still didn't believe her. Also, J.A. and Young Crouchy Boy also did date her, at, the, at the, I think, before I did. She had multiple accounts as well, and then I told my friends about it, and I was like, yeah, that bitch a catfish, and... Yeah, after that, I don't think I could trust any fucking girl. I was getting a lot of flashback for doing this episode, and honestly, I don't care. Like, I want to get my truth out. I want to get the word out. I give out the truth to these people and that's what I'm going to continue doing. I am never taking this video down and I'm never taking the Sean Roberts video down. Both of those videos are staying on this channel forever. But anyway, it's time for shout outs. It is shout out time on our broadcast tonight. I'm going to be picking five random YouTubers to shout out tonight. So here we go. Number five, Mr. Snowman. Number four, Andrew's videos. Number three, Matthew the Haunter. Number two, Brian's vlogs. And number one, Holiday Haunts. You all deserve the shout outs tonight. And I thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing. We recently just hit 500 subscribers, which is now the countdown to 1,000 subscribers. And once we hit 1,000, I can finally start making money off of this channel. But like I said before, if you would like to get shouted out on our broadcast, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment. 
Make sure to turn on your notifications so you know when we do another spooky news broadcast or another spooky 10 episode. Well, Spirit Halloween flagship is 27 days away, and I am super excited to be there, and I am super excited to meet you guys over there. I am super excited, very, very excited to see the props in person and check out the whole ISC for 2024. Now, please let me know in the comments who is going to flagship 2024. There is a countdown right above me right here that shows how many days that are left until flagship 2024. There's exactly four weeks left to be exact, but 27 days left in total until the big opening of Spirit Halloween 2024. Also, some funny news right now that I'm gonna be saying. Brian Mitchell. Brian Mitchell has been praised over the last couple of days, and that is because he has released a video showing the new Home Depot Halloween 2024 Victorian Vampire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and play that video clip. I am Brian Mitchell, and I'm going to leak the whole Spirit Halloween lineup. This is literally what was going on in my community group chat, which I'm not leaking. I'm not giving anybody else the community group chat, but that is literally what was going on in that group chat. Everybody was praising Brian Mitchell over leaking this prop. And there have also been some other Home Depot props leaked as well, but they are in boxes. Take a look at these images right here. They're all in boxes, but the Victorian Vampire is honestly pretty cool. His audio is pretty good, and I just really like that prop in general. Finally, tonight we are going to be tossing over the weather forecast to Stryker Reinhardt in the Weather Center. Hey guys, it's Stryker at the Spooky News Weather Center, and let's get on to the weather. So, here's the rain. There's not much rain, there's just a little bit in different spots. And here's the clouds. There's a bunch of clouds around up here. So, yeah, and for temperature we're going to be in the 60s, and here's the temperature. So yeah, let's get on to the seven-day forecast. This is the seven-day forecast. On Friday, we'll be seeing um, 64 degrees. On Saturday, we'll be seeing 63 degrees. Sunday, we'll be seeing 70 degrees. Monday, we'll be seeing 75 degrees. Tuesday, we'll be seeing 66 degrees. Wednesday, we'll be seeing 70 degrees. And on Thursday, we'll be seeing 72 degrees. Thank you for watching, and bye. Thank you, Stryker. Well, that about does it for tonight's broadcast. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Remember to like and subscribe and make sure to comment and turn on notifications so you know when we do another broadcast or a Spooky 10 episode. Now for the entire Haunter community, I'm Joseph Mine. I hope we can catch you in the next broadcast or episode of Spooky 10. Good night.